Hi guys, welcome back to Elite Byte Code. Mark here. Today we're back with another video and we're going to talk about use state in React. I'm going to pull up the documentation over here and just for your reference, I'll put this in the description below. So if you feel like you're lost and you need a quick reference, just go in the description and you'll see the de documentation over there. Quick overview over here. So if you are trying to declare something in react and you intend to change its variable in, at any one moment make sure if you intend to declare a variable in javascript and at one moment time x you're gonna change that variable to something else what you're gonna be using is called a use state and a use state works in a way that you assign a variable, the first initial variable to it. And then later on, you can change that variable. This is how we assign variables and then reassign them in React. When you look at the documentation over here, they say that anything that is in the brackets is called a destructure. So whatever you see on the right hand side, is the initial variable of the variable called count. The next one is the function that is going to reassign this count variable to the next number you are going to assign it to. And when you look at the documentation, it's pretty clear here that they are trying to let you know that when they declare, declare the variable, a uh, fraud state variable, they assigned it the first initial variable that was, that was banana. And that happens at index zero. Now, if you reassign that variable to anything else, that variable, that next variable is at index one. It's pretty much the same thing here that they're trying to show you. Let's go to the code and then try to see how this works in real life. I have a simple React application over here. And what I'm going to do over here is just to assign an h1 here give it a title okay now if i intend to change this title in future all right without manually writing this code over here what i can do is to use state and we say the way we declare state is to write um So you, all you need to do is assign, let's say this is um, the title. And then the next one is the method, set title. Then whatever you assign it over here is the use state. And that's gonna be the initial variable that we tend. So what I'm gonna do is to take this out and then put it over here. And then now this means that this argument has been assigned to the variable title. Now it's in memory. So all I can do now is to call it over here. All right. So you'll notice that there's an issue here and what do we need to do? We need to import, all right? So what we can do is to import use state. And definitely you're gonna see that error gone. So now this is the initial variable. In here, we have whatever we assigned it to here. So now if we want to change to the next variable, all we can do, let's say, imagine that you have a button over here and that button, um, I, I, I already have Bootstrap installed in here. So all I'm gonna do is just to give it a simple class over there and then um, change title so that's our button over there now to assign it um, we can assign it an on click method on click now 
there's going to be a crucial step over here. This is when we use the set method. And this set method takes an argument of whatever you need to reassign this initial variable to. So now all I can do is to give it a subscribe. You will notice that it's not going to show up anything. Now what happens here is that React tries to prevent you from having an infinite loop. And how can we prevent that is to, cause what is happening here is this is already, it's already triggered, all right? As soon as the um, window loads, this is already triggered. This method is already triggered. So how can we prevent that from the method directly um, triggering? All we can do is to assign an arrow function And then this arrow function is going to prevent the direct triggering. So it will wait until this button is, cl um, is clicked, then this will be returned. This will be executed. Let's refresh over here. And now we have that button. So if we click that, then that's subscribe. Okay. Now we can bump this, we can bump this up a little bit by now reassigning let's give this number then set remember we went over this or earlier so now this is for a number and it's not a string we assign the number to zero remember we say whatever you assign here is the initial value for this and this will reset or reassign the num number at any time given so all we can do now is create another button then create increment num and then can put a p tag over there and then call num like we said so now initially num is zero but when we um, we need to change this method to num and all we can do in here since these are numbers we can add num plus one okay so now when we go over here we can increment num to any number that we want and when you refresh this everything goes back to zero okay all right all right so all in all those uh this is how we use state in react remember the initial value that you assign over here is the initial value for the variable you gave it here and whatever is in here is the function that reassigns this value all right thank you for watching and bye bye